Despite reports of the middle class declining, they still constitute the largest segment of society and wield significant influence in decision making. However, many in the middle class are fixated on financial security and fail to consider the balance between assets and liabilities. According to acclaimed author Robert Kiyosaki, a person's assets and liabilities serve as indicators of their social status. In other words, one's possessions can determine whether they are rich or poor. Join us as we explore items that the middle class commonly mistake as assets when in fact they are not. Number eight, investing in jobs that you don't enjoy for the sake of financial freedom is a flawed concept. The pursuit of prestige and wealth is limited to those who possess high intelligence. Sometimes, consciously or unconsciously, we find ourselves trapped in jobs that do not allow us to thrive. We hold on to these mediocre jobs with the belief that if we stick to them long enough, they will eventually lead us to a breakthrough in life. But this is simply a self-deception we convince ourselves of. Do you truly believe that investing in your tolerable job will make you a millionaire? The upper class, however, possesses different ideologies than the middle class. They invest in endeavors that bring them fulfillment, which is why they stand out. Anthropologist Hadass Weiss asserts that the wealthy continue to amass wealth due to their mindset. It is possible to achieve significant benefits by investing in your talents, interests, and passions. As long as you have a well-developed strategy and possess the necessary financial knowledge, nothing is beyond your grasp. We must abandon the poverty mindset that leads us to believe that securing a stable eight to five job will bring us millions. Let's step out and pursue our dreams. Once you break free from the shackles of employment, nothing is impossible. So do not hesitate to take risks in pursuit of a better status because you never know. The world is full of unexpected surprises. Number seven, your largest financial burden could very well be your own home. It is a common misconception that having a sprawling mansion and expensive cars is the hallmark of true wealth. In fact, owning a home may not necessarily translate to financial gain, but rather may even put you in a position of liability. The influential financial guru, Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, is lauded for his astute predictions and contributions to the success of many successful entrepreneurs. One key practice that separates the affluent from the masses is their ability to discern between assets and liability. This includes recognizing that things like vehicles, properties, and electronics fall under the liabilities category since they do not generate income, but instead drain financial resources. The key to avoiding the pitfalls that trap most middle-class earners is to treat your household finances like a business. You must hone the skills necessary to manage your resources efficiently. This requires investing time and money in your financial education, seeking guidance from qualified financial advisors before making any major investment decisions, such as purchasing a home, can help you to avoid common pitfalls that result from ignorance or negligence. In the end, it is wise to remember that a smart man does his due diligence, while a foolish man tries to solve every problem without guidance. So, if you are serious about gaining financial freedom and avoiding unnecessary liabilities, take the time to research, seek advice, and invest in your own financial education. And if you appreciate this message, I implore you to support our cause by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for your support. Number six. When it comes to managing one's finances, the middle class tends to spend their money first and invest later. However, consider this scenario. Instead of using $50 to $100 a month to pay off a car loan, that same amount could be invested in stocks and bonds to earn dividends. It is wiser to invest early on and start reaping the benefits of your assets. However, discipline is crucial in managing funds and sticking to financial priorities and plans. Ask yourself, do you typically spend first or invest when you receive your monthly income? Experts have found that those who invest first tend to have higher rates of generational wealth. 
The key is to remain consistent with investing bit by bit, as it will eventually amount to a significant sum. In contrast, those who spend first often become slaves to their work, as they constantly strive to meet their needs. Your approach to spending and investing has a significant impact on your social status. While some believe that one's worth is determined by what they have left after spending, it is crucial to shift your mindset towards investing before spending. It may take time to see the benefits, but this approach has proven to work wonders. Remember, the middle class spends first, while the wealthy invest first. Take charge of your finances and start investing early to secure a better financial future. Number five, have you ever questioned why those who were top students often end up working for those who barely passed? The middle class has developed a troubling obsession with formal education, likely due to the notion that investing in higher education is the key to acquiring wealth. However, if excellent grades were the secret to financial prosperity, then every graduate with a summa cum laude degree would be a millionaire. The wealthy have learned that achieving financial success is not tied to one's ability to memorize information from textbooks. Instead, it is believed that acquiring specific knowledge on investing or networking with powerful individuals can have a greater impact on one's net worth. Possessing street smarts holds a higher likelihood of succeeding than being solely book smart, while school aims to prepare individuals for the traditional 9 to 5 lifestyle. Possessing general knowledge and various skill sets gives one the tools to explore the world and navigate different aspects of life. If you need proof, just look at some of the world's wealthiest individuals, many of whom lack formal education. In fact, several college dropouts have pursued their passions and succeeded greatly, such as Steve Jobs and Michael Dell. As universities continue to become increasingly irrelevant, individuals are urged to consider taking online courses in their desired fields rather than taking on large student loans they cannot afford. If you seek inspiration, take a page out of Bill Gates's book, literally. He has credited his success to reading 50 books annually. Therefore, there should be no fear in self-educating and developing skills independently. Number four, becoming wealthy is not solely determined by personal choices, but is also influenced by chance and destiny as perceived by many individuals. However, this belief hinders not only their mindset, but also their performance. Many people from the middle class attribute their financial status to their professional skills, home ownership, and formal education. Such an outlook impedes their progress in the corporate world and limits their upward mobility. The inability to change this mindset can lead to envy of those in higher social classes. Taking responsibility for one's financial status is a critical step towards achieving financial freedom. One must identify and exploit gaps in society and have a positive outlook on life. Rather than solely focusing on budgeting, one should explore entrepreneurial ideas that have potential for success. Success in these ventures begins with positive thinking, followed by diligent planning and execution. Number three, there is a common belief that money corrupts individuals, especially those in the middle class. However, this belief is unfounded as money can also have a positive impact and bring about positive changes for generations. Unfortunately, the association of wealth with greed, corruption, and oppression is prevalent in society. It is important to realize that wealth is not the root of the issue, but rather the individual. Wealth merely amplifies one's true character. If one was already inclined towards greed, financial freedom would only enhance that trait. On the other hand, if one was kind and just, money would likely highlight those virtues. It is essential to invest wisely and distinguish between humility and poverty. Therefore, instead of associating money with negativity, it is necessary to cleanse our minds and transform our thinking. Number two, many people believe in saving money as a rule, particularly those in the middle class. While this group is generally less comfortable taking risks, 
than high-class individuals. They tend to err on the side of caution, hoarding their funds instead of investing. This is a common mistake, as the true secret to wealth is multiplying one's money, not just holding on to it. Money is a valuable resource that is constantly circulating and should be treated as such, not kept stagnant. Unfortunately, the middle class often operates under the subconscious belief that money is scarce, which leads to excessive saving and minimal spending. This approach is not an effective strategy for building wealth, as simply putting money into a piggy bank or a bank account does not generate significant returns. Many in this economic class trust banks and feel more secure. Leaving their money sitting in an account rather than pursuing more risky investment opportunities that could potentially yield higher returns. However, this strategy does not produce real wealth, as banks use the funds deposited by customers to finance loans and investments. In this way, the rich continue to grow richer while the poor remain stagnant. The key to success lies in investing in opportunities that will generate significant returns, not just saving and hoping for the best. By embracing a more proactive and dynamic approach to wealth creation, individuals can unlock their true potential and achieve lasting financial success. Number one, the question of whether white collar jobs are an ideal venture can be quite confusing. Many individuals stick to their corporate jobs because of the comfortable paycheck, but the truth is that this is not leading them towards wealth. The wealthy individuals do not strain themselves to climb the corporate ladder, rather, they work to own the latter. On the other hand, the middle class is under the impression that the only way forward financially is to have employment and a steady paycheck. They focus on building a career because they were told to get good grades, attend college, and find work. However, the rich seek to create businesses and eventually provide employment opportunities for the middle class. This rigid thinking of the middle class leaves them stagnant and unable to climb up the economic ladder. They end up working as errand boys for their employers and contribute to the billionaire's wealth in the process. No matter how thick the paycheck is at the end of the month, chances are that the employer has only lost about 10% of their billions to pay the employee that much. It is probable that the employee is even better at their craft than the employer, which is why they were hired. The message is clear. Everyone needs to step out of their comfort zone and be willing to take risks, no matter how small they may seem. This is the first step towards financial freedom and achieving wealth beyond imagination. Imagine if individuals dared to start something small of their own, how much greatness they could build. In conclusion, the belief that white collar jobs are an ideal venture is not necessarily true. It is essential to take risks and step out of the comfort zone to achieve financial freedom and unimaginable wealth. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it and found it valuable, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, welcome and subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.